Hi you guys, it's Linnea for LDRS Creative and today I'm going to be using a couple of products to create a spooky nighttime forest graveyard scene. So to start off with, I have the Practically Oval die set and I die cut a scalloped frame from some black cardstock and then I use that simple oval to die cut both from white cardstock and from black. From the black oval, I'm going to be die cutting the Up a Tree die set and the only part of the die that I'm using is just these trees on a hill. Now they do come with different backgrounds so you can make these autumn trees, summer, spring trees, but without it cut from the black cardstock they kind of look like spooky Halloween trees. So that's going to be my foreground and I die cut the secondary oval because I'm going to be doing some ink blending onto this and this will be my sky behind those spooky black trees. So I have a couple of the LDRS Creative Hybrid Mini Ink Cubes and I actually only ended up using two. I'm going to start with the Dark Wash Jeans ink and I'm just going to blend this on to that white oval and I will grab the trees for reference just to make sure I bring that blue down far enough because I want that to completely cover and peek out from behind those trees. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the Grape Ape for some shadow up at the top of this oval. Now, it needed stars in my sky. So I just have some pearly watercolors and I'm just using a silvery white color here, flicking on some stars in the background. And now I'm going to have some pearlescent, easy, easy stars. My stamp set for today is the Halloween Hijinks stamp set. And I stamped out the cat on top of the pumpkin, one of my favorite images. I needed a moon in my sky, so I have that. I have a little ghost. And then I have a couple of the gravestones, and I actually only end up using one of these, but I like to color multiples just so that I can lay them out on my card and see how they are going to look. And any of them that I color and cut that I don't use, I just keep in the back of my stamp set, so that way maybe next time I'm creating a card, I can just grab them. I have a whole bunch of images, probably one of each of the images colored, so that next time I want to create a Halloween card with the stamp set, I don't have to color them. I have so many extras left over. So that's just a little tip for you today. Color extras and then keep them for next time when you need to create a quick card. So I colored all those images. I'm going to die cut them with the coordinating die set. And then I will grab a sentiment, the You're a Scream stamp. I've kind of laid everything out how I want it to go, and I'm just going to carefully pick up that tree background, lay that in my stamp platform, and then I can ink that up with the LDRS Creative Watermark ink pad and emboss it with white embossing powder. I liked the look of the white card base, but I thought that it was just too bright. I really wanted this card to have a dark feel to it, like a nighttime feel. So I'm using a summer paper pad. This is the homemade happiness paper, but it has this navy blue pattern with these white polka dots. And when I glued this onto my card and started putting the whole card together, I absolutely fell in love with how this turned out. Pretty much everything is adhered flat onto this card, but I did add some foam behind my oval centerpiece and added that onto the, the fancy oval frame here. And so that has some dimension behind it, but then this fancy frame I'm going to glue directly onto the card. I'll glue all my images flat onto the card, except for that cat on the pumpkin. I popped him up with some foam squares. I'm gonna go around these images and the trees and then the slope of the hill with my glitter marker just to add a little bit more shine. I loved how those stars were shiny in the background and I thought that I wanted a little more glitter. But that is going to finish off this card. I'm absolutely in love with it and I hope that you are too. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.